Welcome to this edition of Valor Media. This is episode number 85 for September 20th, 2021, with your host, Lori Riston. Hi, welcome to today's podcast. I'm your host, Lori, and today's episode is entitled, Who Do You Depend On? Now, before we begin, I want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you do, you'll help get the word out about these episodes, which are designed to help people thrive in both life and business. And then don't forget to tap that little button so you can be alerted to each new episode. So let's get started. Today's episode is actually a continuation of the Crisis to Thriving podcast series that I've been hosting recently where I've been sharing some life-changing principles found within the Celebrate Recovery program. Now, Celebrate Recovery is a Christ-centered 12-step recovery program for anyone struggling with hurts, hang-ups, or habits that really mess up our lives. And the overall intent is to help people understand the purpose of personal responsibility and encourage participants to let go of the past to focus on the future. Now, just to recap what we've been learning in this series, we've talked about denial and how it keeps us stuck in our pain. And we also learned that we're powerless to fix ourselves or the situations we find ourselves in. And then two weeks ago, we talked about hope. I shared then that since God cares about us and loves us no matter how many times we've failed, messed up, or taken the wrong path in life, we need to trust Him and open our hearts to Him. When we do, it gives us new hope. But today, we're going to focus on who or what we should be depending on as we move towards the thriving life that God desires for us. So let me start out by asking you a question. What are some of the things that you depend on daily? I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. But what are some of the things you depend on daily? Well, here are some of the things we may depend on. Our alarm clocks. We depend on them when we need help getting to work on time. We depend on gum (laughs) when we have bad breath. We also depend on sunglasses to protect our eyes. And here's a big one, our cell phones. We definitely depend on those, don't we? We depend on them so much that if we lose or break them, it can cause quite a panic. But besides all of those, Every day, we depend on others to live. We depend on drivers around us to make good decisions on the road. We depend on our employers to pay us so we can afford food, clothing, and shelter. We depend on police officers to keep our community safe. And we depend on family and friends to be there for us when we need them. Depending on others is a big part of life. But what happens when God asks us to depend on Him? When He wants us to turn our lives over to His care and control? Suddenly, the thought of depending on others gets a little tougher, doesn't it? Even if we're willing to give it a try and admit that depending on Jesus is a good idea, we may still not have any idea on how to do that. Depending on Jesus means turning our lives over to Him. And as we have done during the last three episodes of this series, let's take a look at another Celebrate Recovery acrostic to see some of the key terms that will help us better understand what turn really means. Depending is trusting. Now, would you mind humoring me for just a moment? Would you close your eyes and get rid of all the distractions you have going on right now? Now, if you're driving, don't do that. But if you're able to, just close your eyes for a few minutes because I want you to use your imagination. Have you ever been behind a dump truck or large piece of heavy equipment on a narrow two-lane road? It can be really frustrating when you're forced to go much slower than you want. Not to mention all those fumes from the exhaust. Now imagine you're traveling on a mountain pass high up in the Colorado Rocky Mountains with beautiful scenery all around you. You're navigating up a steep, narrow road with hairpin turns. At one point, you approach a steep incline and face 10 cars ahead of you. You are all stuck behind a slow-moving huge truck that chugs its way up the mountain. All of a sudden, the truck driver sticks his arm out of the window and motions for cars to go around him. He implies that it's safe to pass him, that there is no oncoming traffic ahead. What do you do? Do you pass? Should you pass? Do you trust that the driver knows what he is doing? You don't know him at all. Maybe he's a lunatic who loves to see car crashes, fire, and death. Maybe he's been driving through the night and he's lost all sense of perception and he's encouraging you to drive into oncoming traffic. What would you do? Now go ahead and open your eyes. Would you pass the truck? If your answer is yes, Do you realize what you just did? You trusted a complete stranger with your very life. So if we can trust a complete stranger, then why is it so hard for us to trust God who created us, knows us by name, 
and lives to pour out His love on us. Depending and trusting God invites us to make the commitment to turn our lives over to Him. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. But what exactly does this scripture mean? Well, it means that we are to trust God with all of our hearts and not depend on what we know. At all times, include God in everything you do, and this way, you give Him a chance to keep you on the right track. That's because you may not always know what lies ahead. Depending also involves understanding God's way. Human understanding is limited, but God's understanding is infinite. But what exactly does that mean? Well, that means that God has no limitations. He sees the whole picture from beginning to end. We only see a very small portion of that picture, but God sees everything. Have you ever been in a plane? When you're on the ground, you see what is directly in front of you, but when you're up in the air, you see everything. Well, this is similar to how God sees things. He sees everything, and His understanding is infinite. Someday we will see Jesus, and the clouds of our confusion will be lifted. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, now, we tend to only focus on ourselves and what makes us happy. But that doesn't typically work, does it? Lots of times, when we are only doing what seems right in our own eyes, we end up somewhere we don't want to be, in negative circumstances that can be so painful. Because, you see, we can only flourish and come alive when we catch God's vision for our life, not our own. That's why it's so vitally important to keep our eyes on Him and not our own desires. Depending also involves rearranging your life. Rearranging is about change, and if we're to depend on Jesus, then we need to depend on Him in all areas of our life, including all that we think, say, and do. In order to do this, however, we need to make changes, and we may need to break old habits and create new healthy ones instead. When I think about rearranging things, I think about my living room and how I love moving my furniture around buying new decor, and making everything look fresh and new. But I've got to tell you, sometimes I really second-guess myself about whether or not my changes will look good or be comfortable for our guests. That's why I go to people I know who have a really good eye for something like that, and that they can help me decorate and make it look incredible. That's what we need to do as we rearrange our lives. We need to go to someone who can really help bring everything together in order to take what is not positioned properly and bring order to it. And not only order, but beauty. Psalm 37 verse 5 says, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do this. The Hebrew root word for commit literally means to roll. And in Hebrew, this is used figuratively to describe handing over, seeking, or consigning something. Like hiring a decorator to help you rearrange things, a trusting believer rolls their burdens onto Jesus and trust Him to take care of the situations that they can't handle. Once they do, they're amazed at what He can do. What are some of the things in your life right now that you need to roll over to Jesus? Whatever that is, do it now. Give it all to Jesus. He is so faithful, and He will always work out everything for your good. Depending also involves moving in a new direction. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. But what does that mean in practical terms? What does it feel like to become a new creation? Is it scary or like an out-of-body experience? Do we become a robot? Becoming a new creation isn't any of those things, and there is nothing frightening about it. It is more like being restored to health and wholeness. When Adam and Eve sinned, human beings lost their close connection with God. Regeneration restores that connection, making it possible for God to dwell with us and be our friend. However, there are some challenges associated with becoming a new creation. The flesh, or the physical body and mind, is influenced by Satan, by the world, and by its own habits built over a lifetime. This flesh fights the new person that is created because the new self is aligned with God's spirit and the flesh can no longer be in control. This tends to create a lot of internal conflict. But the good news is that even though overcoming our fleshly desires is a constant battle, God's power can help us have victory over our failures. We'll never be perfect, that's for sure. 
But God will give us a lot of chances to get it right, as long as we turn to Him and depend on Him for every aspect of our life. There are two types of people listening to this podcast right now. People who have turned their life over to Christ and already trust Him, and people who have not turned their life over to Christ and need to trust Him. Turning your will over to Christ and heading in a new direction requires a daily commitment and daily support. Have you done this? If not, what are you waiting for? If you want something you've never had before, you have to be willing to do something you've never done before. All you have to do is ask Jesus to take control of your life and then put all of your faith, hope, and trust in Him. As you grow in your relationship with Jesus, you need to begin following His directions for a new life. If you want help doing just that, please reach out to us. Once you do, we can put you in contact with one of our team members to see how we can assist you and work with you as you begin this new journey. Just contact us at info at to get started. In the meantime, check out Valor Ministries' two life-changing books, You Were Made to Thrive, Seven Strategies to Move You from Crisis to Thriving, and the Companion Goal Setting Workbook. These books are designed to help you start living the life you always dreamed of. And you'll be amazed at what you can achieve once you start putting these strategies into action. You can find more information or purchase them through Amazon in paperback or Kindle version. Or you can find them on www.thevalorcenter.org products. If you'd like to get up-to-date information about Valor, you can connect with us on our websites at www.thevalorcenter.org or www.valorexcel.com. Or you can find us on Facebook at Valor Ministries or Valor Excel. We'd love to connect with you on social media to inspire you and encourage you on your journey. You can also email us at media at thevalorcenter.org and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover on future podcasts. We want to make sure we're producing content that is relevant to you, so reach out anytime. And if you'd like to find out more information about Celebrate Recovery or find a group that is meeting in your area, visit www.celebraterecovery.com. Celebrate Recovery really is a safe place to find community and freedom from the issues that are controlling your life. You'll find a ton of great information on their website, and you'll also be able to purchase books and other resources to help you get started. So check it out. And lastly, if these episodes have been a blessing to you, would you consider financially supporting us in our efforts? As a nonprofit, we survive on donations from people like you. And if God is prompting you to give, rest assured that your generous donations are tax deductible and they allow us to create even more content to help people thrive. Please visit www.thevalorcenter.org and click on that donate button to give securely online. Or you can send a check or money order to Valor Ministries, 324 East Antietam Street, Suite 104, Hagerstown, Maryland, 21740. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with us today, and I hope you'll come back again for next week's episode. Until then, remember this, you were made to thrive. <music>